Hey folks, this is Anupam. Today I'm going to talk about something very exciting. I, I think there is a, there's a lot of uh, interest from customers, especially you know where there is enterprise grade transformation uh, for analytics going on with uh, with citizen developers, people who are in their Excel, Power BI. How can they? pull in data in real time and then do their own transformations rather than one central uh, you know, pipeline where it, all the transformation is traditionally done. So Fabric has recently launched a new feature where Microsoft basically is giving all of that power, at least most of the power, in the hands of citizen developers. Um, it has the ability to do real time and I thought, you know, based on a request from a customer, let's go ahead and show how that can be used with SAP um, analytics and data integration. All right, let's get going. So traditionally we have been using Azure Data Factory um, for data integration kind of tasks. The new feature from Fabric, which brings all of that power um, from Azure Data Factory onto your desktop with the Power BI and Fabric Dataflow Gen 2. That's something which is, which is more and more intriguing and we'll do analysis and then we'll do a walkthrough of those features. So for all the solutions which we go with, this is the stream model, uh, which we use and assess, uh, essentially, you know, how, how the data is secured, how can the users uh, pull in data on a timely manner, uh, based on when they need it rather than being dumped with uh, information, how, uh, the data is relevant to their context and what uh, they are trying to get done. Ease of action, um, once the data and information is there, how they can act upon the information. The fifth one is uh, what is the support for APIs? I think traditionally most of the ETL pipelines are driven by data extraction uh, and dump to files, but uh, increasingly, uh, your more and more of your timely information is going to come from API-based sources. How how that's provision and the sixth, uh, I think that's the one which is most uh, interesting for SAP users is the micro semantic uh, model support. How can I get my purchase orders, sales orders, invoices, accounting documents available? Um, for my analytics and automation. So this is a detailed document out there. Uh, here's the link, you can get into that. Let's focus on the data flow Gen 2 and how does that fit in our, our stream model. It basically provisions cloud-based compute uh, for real-time processing. And most of the features of uh, Azure Data Factory, they they are brought over, at least in terms of the broad level support to Fabric. The interesting part, especially for SAP based users, is the ability to do real time processing. As you probably know, Azure Data Factory, that's mostly batch oriented. And uh, the integration, uh, the ease of use, you know, that's the citizen development. Uh, model where more and more desktop based users and non development kind of users, how can they do their own transformations rather than depending on some developer uh, who will be doing it, right? So compared to Azure Data Factory, I would say, you know, it's much more intuitive. It's more, if you're familiar with, you know, visual uh, transformations which can be done using uh, Power Query. That brings, uh, you know, all of the power of uh, Power Query based transformations onto your fabric 
uh, data flows. The learning curve is low and the target seems to be data analysts and business users rather than the technical users. All right. The opportunity or you know the strength obviously is real time and uh, ease of use and that should open up um, a lot of people who are interested to do data driven uh, decision making analytics themselves rather than depending on a development team. Um, there is some comparison competition from other tools. I, I would think, you know, think of the Dataflow Gen 2 as, uh, as basically giving uh, your citizen developers ability to do their own pipelines. All right, so when to use what? I would go ahead and use Dataflow Gen 2 for giving business users uh, the ease of access and real-time processing. And I would still stick to Azure Data Factory for complex, uh, large-scale data movement and, uh, you know, in batch mode. All right, let's see how this translates onto SAP. So, so this is our favorite RM07 doc report on SAP. We'll run this with the variant. Yeah, USB for SAP. When we execute, we get this set of outputs. Now, I'm going to Fabric Data Flow. We have created this module, which is uh, for USB for SAP, and published this so that uh, whoever is within this workspace, they will be able to consume it within their data flow. So I'll quickly walk you through. You know. There's the same parameters which we have been seeing. What's the report name? What's the report variant? And this, by the way, can be downloaded or exported um, to the desktop as well. And you know, once you publish it, it can be used across the user community. So here's the steps you would typically do. You go to and this use get data click on data flows the published data flows they would go through an on-premise uh, gateway uh, for data flows and then you click next what it will bring up is within the workspace what are my published data flows when I select this one, it will pop up the USB for SAP when I say create. It is going to go run that particular uh, Power Query code and get the data within my data flow. So here it is. It has brought in uh, 36 rows and all of the data which we are seeking from SAP. Now, it's pretty straightforward. I think uh, most of the people will be very comfortable with the, uh, you know, all the visual the transformations which are possible within your Power Query. You know, use first row as headers, keep top rows, remove rows, etc. Those are standard features from Power uh, Query, which are available now for, for usage. All right, so what did we do? We basically compared the when to use Fabric Dataflow Gen 2 versus Azure Data Factory with USB for SAP. And we quickly walked through how I would use a, a USB for SAP Dataflow Gen 2 uh, within my Fabric environment to get the data from SAP. All right, I hope you find this useful.